Good morning, everyone. Today we're in a place called Bacala. We arrived here yesterday from Tulum. It's right in the south of Mexico, almost at the border of Belize. So we're really down south. And from Tulum, it was about two and a half hours on an ADO bus, which was around $15. Really good buses though, really comfortable. And this place is famous for an incredible lagoon. Apparently it has one of the most beautiful lagoons in the world. I have seen pictures of it and it really did look that way. So we're gonna be checking out that place and we really liked it so far because it's kind of traditional very different to any other place that we've seen yeah, right it's very quiet and traditional you can see like many locals doing their their lives and stuff like that yeah no nothing too fancy around yeah. here yeah. almost doesn't look like a place that tourists come no but they do mm -hmm. yeah there's some hotels in, in near the lake but it's not like a very developed place and we like that we like that so one thing that's different about this place as well is they have these kind of houses here they're like these traditional huts so all around there's these little hut houses and we haven't seen that anywhere in mexico so far here's another one here looks really nice though with the plants and stuff almost reminds me a bit of like southeast asia yeah mm -hmm. like filipino huts yeah the huts in the yeah, jungles the so I searched on online and those are like Mayan style huts, like how the Mayans used to live. So I guess some people still live in those kind of houses here. I mean, the population here is from a Mayan descent. So yeah, I guess that's it. So we're now at the main square at the front of the lagoon called Zocalo and this is kind of like where everybody hangs out at night. In Mexico that's actually common that you have like the squares in the town and people come with the families, they have like the, the food stalls don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we came yesterday and got some nice snacks. Maybe we'll do it again for the, the video, it was really good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So just like the last video, we decided to rent some bicycles, especially here because there's not many cars, so it'll be a nice way to get around. And we're going to head to a cenote now that's on the lagoon, and to walk there it would have took an hour, so definitely better on the bike. I think it's about 18 minutes, so we're going to be heading there now. Which way is it? That way. That way. So we entered the cenote, a lot cheaper than the ones around the Tulum area. This was only 25 pesos per person. And this is a huge cenote, right? Biggest one we've been to probably? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, just a big blue one out in the open. But I think we're gonna go in this part here. I think we can get down there, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, should be able to. really nice this is the warmest water we've been in so far super nice and warm yeah come on in <laughs> swim further out a bit <laughs> the first time we ever came to this region we didn't even know about cenotes, which is crazy. So we didn't look at any, we didn't visit any. And I think even the second time we came, we only went to like one. So that's why on this trip, we go into so many and we love them, right? <laughs> What's up? It's too deep. It's too deep. <laughs> yeah, I'll write down how deep it is. Cause I know that this place you can do like um, scuba diving and stuff. It's super deep from what I read. Yeah, look how cool this looks. Huge trees.
Chris is gonna jump from that tree over there. <laughs> I think I can go like this. Yeah, be careful, please. Uh -oh. Yeah, now you can jump. <laughs> jump now. Yes. <laughs> All good. Yeah, so every cenote that you go to in this region is unique in its own way. They all have different things. Love them all so far. And you can probably see from the drone shots, like the amazing colors of the lagoon as well. This uh, place is completely dark compared to the color out there. And the amazing thing about the lagoon is there's actually cenotes within the lagoon. I don't know if you get that anywhere else, but there's like two just around here. So yeah, that's just amazing. It's actually warmer inside than outside. outside in yeah, shade. it is. It's better to stay inside, right? Yeah. And keep warm. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. <laughs> I can't believe how deep it is into the abyss. Is that the Mayan sculpture? So we're now heading on to our second location of the day. We're gonna try and find a nice restaurant on the Laguna. There's apparently like loads of restaurants and I think some of them give you the lagoon access as well so, so that we can swim in the lagoon. So it should be awesome. We decided to take the, the highway road this time, a lot easier. Tulum Coba. So the place we've come to is called Cocalitos. Looks like some sort of kind of club, I guess, with a restaurant. You just pay 35 to enter, so once again, a really good price. And it looks amazing here. So back there, they have the restaurant area. Got some music as well. And then right on the lagoon, check this out. It's got this like patch of grass. Look at that color there, insane. So these look like rocks, but it's actually a live bacteria. It is hard like a rock, so they tell you not to stand on it. I'll write the name of it, but it's one of like the main attractions here in this region. So it's our first time seeing it as well. Got people kayaking and stuff here, loads of boat tours. And I think we'll do a boat tour in two days time, maybe. Yeah, I hope so. If the weather is great, we might do one. Yeah, should be good. All right, let's see if this is as warm as the, the lagoon back there. Wow, the water is insane. I don't think I've ever seen a lagoon like that, cow. No, first time. Yeah, it's like some tropical beach kind of water. It's crazy. These rocks are cool though. Stromatolite, something like that. <laughs> How is it, same? Uh, no, a little bit colder, colder but, but it's still not bad. Still nice.
<laughs> yeah, what a lagoon. Easily the best lagoon we've ever been to. I think I read it's the second biggest freshwater lagoon in Mexico. Okay. So it is a huge one. It really does just feel like we're on a beach or something. Uh-huh, it kind of reminds me of Holbosch. Yeah, Holbosch again. Yeah, it's kind of like this. The, the same color, we're like kind of cloudy. <laughs> Time to test out these swings. A quick intermission from the future. So some of you that are familiar with Bacala might be wondering what's going on with the color of the lagoon. We thought the lagoon was amazing, right? As you could see from the video, but we didn't know that there's actually been a serious problem there. And when I was looking at my drone footage, I was wondering why are all my drone shots looking like green and not the turquoise blue, like the photos that I had seen. At first I thought there was an issue with my drone and after troubleshooting, I found out that there was nothing wrong with it. And then I discovered that there was a storm last year, 10 months ago, that made a river nearby overflow, like a dark river, and all that water from that river overflowed into the Bacala Lagoon and turned it black at the time. And uh, obviously the locals were freaking out because it's like their big tourism spot because it's uh, like the tropical looking lagoon. So the images that you're seeing right now are not actually how the lagoon should look. It should look even better than it looks in this video. And in the video, we already thought it looked pretty amazing, but yeah, apparently it is supposed to be like a swimming pool blue, super transparent, not like green. So yeah, so that's what's going on with the watercolor. The good news is that it is recovering now after 10 months. So the south part of the lagoon is like super turquoise looking. You're gonna see in the next video if you check that out. And um, yeah, eventually it will come back to normal again like it was. So yeah, that's just a quick explanation on what's going on with the watercolor. to the center because that place we were at didn't really have any food that we wanted and we found this cool local spot here so i think it's called antojitos orizaba i think that's how you say it i'm not sure and we got some quesadillas so i just got uh, cheese and frijoles beans and which was yours uh, eggs with green beans with green beans yeah well, it looks nice yeah, i'll put in the spice on as usual and these were all 25 each, I think. Yeah, yeah so pretty good, 50 overall. Mm -hmm. I like all the, the buildings around here. Yeah. Some awesome street art as well. Mm -hmm. Very colorful. A classic Mexican, like, little Pueblo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the majority of the streets around here are completely empty. Just so easy to ride a bike on, it's pretty cool. Super lazy town. Is this our street? Yeah. Yep. So this is our spot here. <laughs> so 
So we ended up coming back a bit early because you're not allowed to wear sunscreen on the lagoon to protect it. So it's kind of hard to stay out there for hours and hours. You'll get really badly sunburned, probably gonna be badly sunburned anyway, but yeah, you can't like spend the whole day. And we're gonna be here for four days in total. So we have more days here. And I'm glad that we're gonna be staying here that long because I think this is our favorite place out of all this coast so far. It's like super laid back, so. Yeah, it's a great place to stay for a while and hopefully we can also do the boat tour like I said in the next video. And the place we're staying, it looks super simple on the outside but it's actually quite modern on the inside. So this was $29 only and it's about a 10 minute walk to the center. On the bicycle we get there super quick. It's pretty much just one big open area. The kitchen has pretty much everything we need as well. Got a little table where we can eat and then yeah, nice comfortable bed. Still got AC, got an exhausted carol. Yeah. <laughs> got a little fan as well if you need that. And through here got also a modern bathroom. So everything looks brand new. They must have just made this place, I guess. So stick around for the next video. Hopefully we can do that boat tour because it's supposed to be awesome. And if not, we're going to other awesome places in Mexico anyway. All this region is absolutely incredible. So hopefully you liked the video. Drop a like to support us if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.